President Bush has said that Yucca Mountain, Nevada, should be the nuclear waste repository. Last week, he notified Congress that he considers the mountain qualified for a construction permit application. The next step required for approving the site has a nuclear repository. Yesterday, officials from the Nuclear Energy Institute and other organizations reacted to that decision. This news conference runs about 40 minutes. Good afternoon. I'm Angie Howard, Executive Vice President of the Nuclear Energy Institute. Welcome this afternoon to our discussion about the Yucca Mountain decision. Uh, with me today, I'll briefly introduce the panelists. Uh, we have Paul Eckert, who's the first selectman, which in uh, DC terms is mayor of the town of Waterford, Connecticut. Uh, we have Norris McDonald, who is uh, president of the African American Environmentalist Association. We have Mr. Jim Deshaw, who's utility department director of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Uh, Charles Jarvis, who is chairman and chief executive of United Citizens United Seniors Association. Mr. Tom Schatz, who's president of Citizens Against Government Waste. And Darren McKinney, who's communications and media director with the National Association of Manufacturers. This is a defining moment in our nation's energy history and our nation's energy future. It's not the first and it's not going to be the last, but it is momentous nevertheless. Other such moments have come, such as Thomas Edison's research laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey, and under the bleachers of Stagg Field at the University of Chicago. And this is a moment that, by virtue of our nation's democratic system of government, passed and, and exemplified by the 1982 Nuclear Waste Policy Act, is a moment that's occurring in Washington at the White House and the Department of Energy, and in the days to come at the United States Congress and beyond that in the state of Nevada. This moment says that the United States has the political will to continue to lead the world in nuclear technology by developing a geologic repository for nuclear waste, as the nation's top scientists have counseled us to do for more than four decades. This moment says that after nearly 20 years of exhaustive scientific analysis, the federal government is ready to designate Yucca Mountain, Nevada, a suitable site and to move to the licensing phase for the development of an underground geologic disposal facility. The nuclear industry applauds President Bush and Secretary of Energy Secretary Spencer Abraham for making a site suitability decision based on scientific research. They are acting responsibly to fulfill the federal government's longstanding obligation to the American people to safely isolate and dispose of used nuclear fuel and the high-level radioactive waste from our nation's defense programs. As the focus of this decision-making process shifts to Capitol Hill, the companies that produce nuclear electricity in 31 states call on Congress to join them in advancing the nation's energy, economic, and environmental security. By virtue of the people who are with us today, I think you can see that we have a broad-based support for moving ahead with this very important decision.